more, it's better to be like a kickstand a little. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? I think I might have my feet like they're a little more real, instead of lined up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. Well, I, I do like it's comfortable. That was Julia showing me the pose. Now I'm sculpting it. This is day one. This is day two. We are getting a little, you know, sculpty. Day three, we made a change there. Day four, it's starting to get real. Smooth, sculptural. There it is, finished. Here's the plaster, which will be used on the pantograph to create the 14-foot version. Here we are working on the 14-foot version. And uh, I used to do this for a living, make enlargements of sculptures, so I have a pretty good system down. As you'll see, that's, that's looking pretty much like bliss, right? It's see-through, it's shiny, and that's where I got the idea of creating these larger figures is the armatures that would go into the clay. And here's the clay. Um, using the pantograph to get basically three times bigger shape. Now I've done with the pantograph and I'm using model again, Julia, to make it a real sculpture, its own sculpture. Everything is a little intensified because it's big and it needs to be at that scale. And finishing it up, and there it is basically done. This was the only time I walked around the sculpture with a camera, so sorry it's so bouncy, but that's all we got. So that's basically good. The next step will be to scan it, because we're going to do it a completely different way than what we've done before. And here's the scan, all digital. And uh, this is going to allow a computer to create a wooden frame underneath. There's my ideas about what that frame would look like. And here is a little model of that frame. This is a one-tenth version of the large one. And here we are putting it together. This has all the same size pieces as a larger one that we'll be doing to create uh, Gaia. The idea for the wood was to allow people to work right next to each other and build this thing, unlike the three before it, where I had to do a lot of placing of the stuff myself. Here we are building the big one. Now it's being held up by a forklift instead of by our hands. And sanding it so we can start putting the wood on. And I used to build boats, so I had a little bit of sense how to do this. Um, it's starting to work. The first layer is getting there. I'm learning a lot. And there's a second layer. And I'm starting to think about how to put the lines on. You can see the white there. And here we are, and it's really starting to get round and beautiful, just like I was hoping it would. And I'm starting to draw the lines on that in the past would have been triangles, but since it's a round surface, we had to do curved things, and I thought we could do the flower of life over this whole thing. And here it is. This pattern is all made out of stainless. And now... The metal is basically on. Uh, you'll be seeing all, you can see all around that metal is on all of these surfaces. The dark areas are where it's been welded. The next step is to weld all of the metal. 
and then go inside and start pulling the wood out in sections and welding the inside so that's strong and we'll see how strong it is and whether it needs support inside and then um, mesh goes over that and that's another months and months long process uh, there it is this is present time um, the processes will be going we have live streams now so on the weekends you can see people working on it I'll be making more videos because I'm sure you have questions to go over each step that I showed you hope you enjoyed it talk to you later